Welcome back today guys to the channel Need for Speed Heat has officially launched their second video which is gameplay trailer I guess they called it um, this came out I think about a half hour prior than when I was expecting it to I thought it was gonna come out three o'clock I get there at three o'clock it's already out man so I guess it was like two o'clock maybe I had an hour wrong I don't know but I was excited to watch this I gotta be honest with you this was probably the most hype I have been for a need for speed in a very long time man right off the bat I wrote down some notes I want to go over them with you guys biggest things that I pulled from this trailer one cops will actually go after you for speeding which right that's a really cool thing I love that back in the day with Midnight Club and I do believe Need for Speed Most Wanted and I just like that extra cop presence of you know trying not to break the law and you know try to run from them and obviously now uh, you know if you do end up getting into a chase heat levels are back man. we have up to five from the trailer looks like we have helicopters rhinos not too sure about spike strips uh, they're all going to be in there. We also have different cop classes. I've seen a Corvette, Chargers, if it's anything like, you know, previous Need for Speeds, you know, the different classes that call on the Corvette, last, you know, resort kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes. But I got to be honest, so as a gameplay trailer, it looked good. It really did look good, you know, as a visual perspective. The physics, they definitely looked a little bit more toned down from the sliding out. But mind you, though, we didn't see a lot of cars attempting to slide. We've seen a lot of just kind of grip racing in that aspect, which, you know, the grip racing looks great. I'm excited. You know, you can see a good old left to right on the snappiness of the stick but I'm not seeing a lot of it on the drifting when we're seeing it we're still seeing that you know the turn in it just looks a little bit awkward now mind you is it gonna be better than last year I think it's definitely gonna be better it's gonna be a little bit more relaxed you have to initiate properly um, but I still feel that turn into drift it's still there it's not a big problem right it's need for speed we're gonna get over it but it definitely looks similar but different right same same but different but still same same right I mean I don't know but now in this trailer though the customization gets crazy it gets wild uh, there's a couple things that need to be unlocked by level 1000 hopefully that's actually legit it would be cool to actually you know strive to get out there and get to a thousand I don't know if that's gonna be the case but for the first time in any game we have exhaust sound tuning man tone you know you can change the throatiness of it I'm very excited to play around with the exhaust tuning especially for different cars you know kind of compare them together uh, we also had a lot of character customization come in we have Adidas brand in there huge man absolutely huge for Need for Speed having you know authentic branded clothes in the game the garage system looks wild as well this year uh, we also have Need for Speed Heat Studio dropping in this is gonna be an app on our phone I'm gonna check this out tomorrow but you know you can customize your entire car and then bring that car into the game ready to be used it's it's pretty wild man i'm really excited for this game this year the biggest thing though it looks like they've listened to the community they definitely have you know they've taken out the loot boxes that's no longer a thing they said that in the trailer now replace that with just the effects category um so hopefully we still have hydraulics i don't know if that's been confirmed or not uh you know bmw i8 we have so many just cutscenes in this trailer that you know i'm so excited to see where they go i felt like neighbor speed has really lacked an in-game cutscenes, and i'm really excited to see them use this you know this new engine engine uh, and hopefully you know produce some really good in-game cutscenes for us to you know watch and do a lot of them kind of remind me of Need for Speed Underground 2 days, man. It has that vibe. The city looks great. It looks, you know, very vivid, dark, and wet. It looks great. There are all the cops. You can see them just sailing back there, taking a tumble. The physics look fun, man. They definitely do. Need for Speed Heat. Right? I mean, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm excited for this shit. I really am. We're going to take a look at this one more time. We're going to freeze frame some of this trailer, get to some of the meaty parts that are in here, because there was a lot to take in on this, man. I, I watched this for four minutes. I had to rewatch it again. I'm like, holy shit, man. Huge thank you to Need for Speed. You know, just the hype has been real, man. It really has. And I don't know what's, you know, to go from here. I'm assuming what's next is going to be seeing all the gameplay to come from Gamescom. So I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on some of that. Uh, we, you know, we saw the cop car. The drifting just, it looks awkward, right? I mean, let's be honest with you. It does look awkward, at least in the cinematic experience. This right here catches my attention. I don't know what this is for, but it's definitely a cutscene style. The truck's doing a donut. These guys have got their phones out taking a video. It could be like we used to have to do back in the day to pose for a magazine. Same thing maybe, but different. I don't know, man. Porsche 918 Spider spotted. Dodge Viper also back there. I see you over there. But, you know, just the overall vibe of this game. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the art style. This kind of, you know, the cinematic 3, 2, 1 countdown. I love what they've done. The neon to it. The smoke going down. It's been pretty cool. We also then get Pro Street vibes when we switch over to the daytime. And that's done 
strictly when you're ready to you know as soon as you're ready to switch over to daytime you head over to the garage you switch over same with nighttime so you know it's nice it's not just kind of you know pushed on you you know the day and the night cycle also to the nitrous bottles did you see it on there he had like four or five tanks going i don't know why so many uh we'll have to wait and see but there's a lot of nos there man it's quite a bit a little bit of ending cutscenes showing the rewards i like that right just keeping us engaged with different visuals that's something really big this year. Hopefully they do that with the in-game cutscenes. Again, the cops, though, definitely looking forward to see how they react. Uh, you know, the way that they spot you. Are they going to get you for, you know, on the wrong side of the road kind of thing? I'm assuming so, but we'll have to wait and see. But again, though, just the visuals on this game are stunning. They definitely look great. There's a lot of hype this year. You know, just the games look meshed together. You know, we got the Underground 2 vibes of, you know, the wet nights and stuff like that. We got the Pro Street vibes during the day. We got the Cops vibe from Most Wanted. You know, I'm probably missing so many others. But, right, it's just, it's a combination of everything that we've wanted in a Need for Speed game. And they've definitely listened this year. I'm very excited uh, to get my hands on this and play it. I don't know if we're going to get a demo or some sort, maybe a closed beta. I highly doubt it. Either way, we're definitely going to get to play early with the EA Access. But the heat levels are back this year, 1 to 5. And it does look like we're going to have to hit the cooldown spots after. And we're going to have to actually escape the police. So, like I said, it really does throw me back to most wanted, having to outrun the cops escape hide out and relax right you may have a heat level you're gonna you know attract more attention as you go but if you get busted though look at the damn cutscene man it's pretty cool it's not an end game it's kind of its own little you know showcase or you know it's probably just easier for them to render it out and you know work on it um and just you know make more of them obviously so you know they had to do what they had to do and i think it's definitely turned out great it's a unique look and that's one of the biggest things you know need for speed is definitely you know kept it the same but really different though and you know like i said i think they've done a great job this year the customization's on point the physics still look like they need a little bit of work in my honest opinion i could be wrong but leave me yours down below uh, also too they have different turbos and supercharger you can see on the bottom left here um so just you know a little attention to detail this time around it's definitely going to be exciting they got the all drive booted up ready to go for the launch of the game which means online lobbies right away bbs rims coming back in customization probably going to be even wilder than what it was we have different paints coming in and now we have the mobile experience to you know adjust your paints tunes cars the tuning on the game looks interesting also too because you can kind of change it to whatever discipline you want depending on the parts that you're putting in the car another really cool thing in the garage this time around we now have a rev engine button and a swap engine button we can now swap engines on need for speed man it's been a long time coming we've made it though man we're gonna be able to swap some engines and if you know need for speed they're probably gonna let us do everything right so it's gonna be exciting to see what we can actually fit into some cars um, is it gonna change the physical appearance if you drop a v8 into some of them we don't know right i mean are we gonna be able to pop the hoods and look at these engines i'm hoping so uh, but there's still a lot up in the air and they're right this is the game of the year right now man i'm excited for it all eyes are on need for speed we have mobile access we're able to you know do your paints right on your phone or your tablet whatever you're doing then come back on the game they have done everything right this year and i'm very excited to get my hands on this and i just want need for speed to do well and go back to the roots and start making people happy man making everybody happy like they did back in the day and if it's anything like this it's gonna work because the trailer is getting a lot of great vibes the trailer the first time got great vibes huge amount of views huge amount of likes you can definitely see people are supporting need for speed heat i'm supporting need for speed heat we now have garages now where we can go in with our crew you guys can see toggle my crew look at everybody's car in the garage it's just right the experience though is definitely there i got goosebumps man i got goosebumps looking at this i haven't been hyped up on need for speed in a long time i want to play it i want to see it i want to get my hands on it i want to see if the wheel works on it and uh, I just want to do another fun Let's Play, man. It's been a long time since we got a new game to do a Let's Play on. And, uh, you know, this is the year. There's no Forza this year, at least from what we've seen. Um, so this is going to be the only big game coming out that we're going to play, you know, next to Wreckfest and, you know, stuff like that. What else is coming out this year? I feel like I'm always missing what's coming out this year. Let me just quickly look because I'm usually, I feel bad when I miss a game. We got WRC 8. NASCAR Heat is launching. We have Grid on uh, November 11th, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, October 11th, sorry. 
and then Need for Speed Heat is coming out November the 8th. So we're going to get to play Grid first and then finish up with Need for Speed for the end of the year, man. This is going to be a good year. It's shaping up to be a pretty good end of the year, I feel like, man. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well, too. If you are not already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit those post notifications so you guys get all future content. Uh, there's only a small percentage of you guys that are actually hitting the bell. So if you haven't hit the bell yet, do so. Make sure you guys slap that like button on your way out. Also, you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below, man. Need for Speed Heat, I want to know your honest opinions down below. What do you want to see in the game? What do you not want to see in the game? And uh, just tell me your genuine thoughts about the franchise so far, man. It's, you know, it's shaping up to be pretty good, man. They're, you know, they're picking their socks up right now for this next year. And uh, I'm excited to see where this goes from here. Hopefully, the physics are reworked like they said. They said it looked different, but it looks same, same, right? Let me know your thoughts, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.